Hey, this is just me after editing and recording the video. I just want to make a quick disclaimer that I'm not a professional graphic designer. I'm just a person who does commissions on Twitter. And uh, here are some of my works. There are definitely people such as Akalix and Melon Turtle who have years more of experience than me. But I kind of just want to share what I know. And after all, you guys requested uh, I make an actual tutorial. So here it is, and I hope you guys understand what I'm explaining. Maybe not, maybe I'm not the best uh, explainer, but um, hopefully, hopefully it's enough. Hello, so today I'll be doing a very quick and easy tutorial on how to make Osu overlays. I won't be going into anything very in depth. Um, I'll just be using this Matthew overlay that I've made for um, made for Matthew about a week or two ago. It's pretty, it's pretty simple, pretty simple, but uh, clean as well. So I'll be using this as a, a basis. Alright, so um, the first thing you're going to need is definitely Photoshop, but let's assume you have Photoshop ready. If you don't, go search up a video, uh, how to get Photoshop, and you'll be fine. Now I'll just right click, make a new document. Okay, now um, make sure the resolution is 1920 for your width and 1080 for your height. If you want to use any other aspect ratio, you want to stream in another aspect ratio for some reason, then you may do so. If that's not the case, then I really suggest sticking to 1920 by 1080p. So let's go create that real quick. Okay, now that we have this, we're just gonna have a blank canvas over here. And now what I like to do is separate things by group. So I'll just hit this little button over here, a little file icon, click it a bunch. And now I have a bunch of groups, five groups. You can delete or add more groups. Now I'll just separate them, uh, doing my little organization, which I usually do. Background, and let's say uh, the gameplay box. Yep, and the webcam. Um, maybe a little chat box as well. And sub boxes, or basically donation boxes, um, followers, now playing box that, that kind of thing. And then the name, which you usually have at the bottom left in every else overlay. All right, now we have these a bunch of boxes here. Let me just give them a bunch of colors. You can just right click the folder, right click the folder, and um, give them a little, little color. There we go, you don't really have to do it. It's not really necessary, it's just something you can do if you want. There, a little rainbow, cool. Okay, I'm just gonna drag in this layer over here, and I'm, much, I'm gonna make a quick background. So, for the sake of uh, simplicity, I'll, let's just choose uh, here, just a really, a really dark blue. Okay, now we have that. Now, let's make the gameplay box. As we see here, we just have kind of a standard gameplay box, but with some cool, cool little features and unique design. Very simple. We're not going to do that here though. Okay, so at the left side, you're going to see the rectangle, this little rectangle tool. Click on that and click on the canvas, left click on the canvas once. And now I want to make the width 1920 and the height 1080. Now, if you're going to stream or if you have a, a monitor, uh, an asp a different aspect ratio than 16 by 9, make sure you know your aspect ratio. It's probably 16 by 9, but double check, you might have something different. But um, for most people, it should be 16 by 9. So we're going to just click enter now. Okay, now I'm just going to drag. It's a bit hard to see. I'll just press alt backspace I mean no control backspace there you go a little different color just for, we're not going to use this color but just to have a little differentiation from the background there you go we can always change the size later but let me just right click the layer over here go to blending options okay now I'll just set the fill opacity to zero percent and I'll hit stroke over here there you go okay now I'm going to use a stroke stroke thickness of 2 pixels, but of course you can change this however you like. In some overlays I make it's 5, maybe even 6, 4 or 3, yeah, anything. But here we're just going to use 2, because I mean, why not? It doesn't really matter. It's just, just do it how you want it to be. Color white, because we're going to be basing it off the Matthew overlay I made. 
Okay, so that's what it looks like basically. Hit OK. Now I'm just gonna change the size a little bit. Um, okay, I'm just gonna make sure the the horizontal and vertical spacing between the top left corner is equal, so that we could just have a good spacing, good spacing over there. Maybe make smaller, bigger. Oh well, let's not focus on that too much right now. Okay, now a lot of I see a lot of people have problem in terms of how how do you make the background transparent? You know, some a lot of people seem to have that common problem. I'll just show you quickly on how to do that. But first, let's let's just quickly make the webcam. The webcam. There we go. We have our gameplay box that's finished. Really, really simple and basic. Um, I'm gonna press Control C, and then I'll go to my webcam and press Control V. I'll just drag it to my little webcam group over here. Call it main. Okay, now we have that copied. I'll hold shift to maintain the aspect ratio, holding shift, and I'll drag it. I'll just drag it. Yep, there you go. Mm-hmm, I'm gonna make it about this size. I think that looks just fine. Yep, and now I just want, I kind of want the same spacing between the boxes and the corners. Um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna eye it out. <laughs> You're gonna probably just have better ways in terms of doing this, but uh, for the sake of simplicity, uh, well, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just, yeah, there you go. Anyhow, you have it like that. It looks basically, to my eye, symmetrical, okay? <laughs> All right, now we're gonna make the background transparent. What you wanna do is you wanna click on the background, this background layer, I'll just rename it as the BG, and I'll click on this Japanese flag down here. This is what you call a mask. You click on it, and make sure you ha you're on the mask layer, this white little box at the side of the actual um, wallpaper or background layer. So I'll have uh, to click on a mask. I'll press this this tool over here, rectangular marquee tool. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm, I do not know how to pronounce that, but anyways, we're just gonna click on that. And now I'll just select the area which I want it to be transparent. So I'll, I'll start from, wait, I'll make sure you click on this. This is the select, this is to not select. Okay, I'll click on that. Now I'll just select this area for the gameplay box first. I'll select it for the gameplay box. And then I will hit Alt Backspace. There you go, Alt Backspace. Now it's transparent. And I'll click on this to deselect this spot. Okay, now I'm going to select this area for the webcam because I want the webcam box to be transparent as well. Now I'll click Alt Backspace. There you go. Now basically what the clipping mask, not the clipping mask, that's a different thing, the mask does is, well, I mean it works, kind of works as an eraser. eraser. What I did there, Alt Backspace, you see when you click Alt Backspace, uh, let me make a new layer here, click on this, and I'll select the little area. If I click Alt Backspace, it's- oh wait, I didn't make a mask. Okay, let's get- Let me just redo that real quick. I'll make a square, a little square here. Control, Control Backspace, Alt Backspace. We can alternate between the colors over here. So Alt Backspace makes me switch the this color um, into whatever's first in my color palette over here. Yeah, and when you use the mask, which is what I did here, um, black basically means erase or to have it not appear, make it transparent. And white is the opposite of that, to have it appear. So if you maybe, made, let's say you made a mistake and you uh, did this. Oh no, that's not great. Part of the background is this is transparent. You don't want that. Let's go click on this. Let's select this part you want to make it uh, appear, and I'll hit Control Backspace. That is to make it white, or basically have it appear again. There you go. So that's fixed. Okay. Now we have that done. It might be a bit troublesome to see this. PNG transparent kind of gray and white background over here. So I'll just make a little new layer in the background and I'll have it 
let's just say this kind of gray. Let's have it this kind of gray for now. Just a little temporary. Okay. Now we have this. I, I don't want this. You, you do not want to have your gameplay stroke or your gameplay box overlap your webcam. No one wants to see that at all. So we're just going to click on your gameplay box, your group. Click on the group layer, not the actual main layer of the stroke. We're going to click on that Japanese flag or the mask. Now we're going to want to select that. Select this little part. And once again, Alt Backspace. Now it's gone. Wonderful. Okay, now we're now we're kind of getting there. We kind of kind of have the basics over here. We have the gameplay box and the webcam. Okay, now we have that done. We can start and continue on with the chat box. Okay, so let's make a little chat box. Let's move over here. Okay. We can always change the shape and size later on, so it's fine. Let's just click on blending options. Make sure you right click and hit blending options. Fill opacity 0%. Stroke. It, for the, in terms of fill opacity, you can just, just have it how you like it. This is a bit different. It's a chat box. So usually I just add a set in or maybe, a, maybe just add a little color. You can just be creative, but uh, this is kind of how a lot of overlays are made, so we're just kind of following that standard. Okay, very basic, wonderful. Just making sure the spacing is looks fine. Okay, yeah, this should be just about fine. You can make it taller, or you can make it shorter. Personally, I do not like overlays that have chat boxes like this. They are way too, way too long, way too tall, and chats usually are not do not take that much space. Well, maybe they do, but it will look like it's moving very slow. So, I'd say the optimal chat box size is around like this. Personally, for me, but it's your it's preference, and you can change it how you like. Okay, let's move on. Now we're gonna move on to let's say you want to have the boxes that uh, show your, your latest followers, your latest donation, no donors. All right. Well, we can actually well, let me just rename the chat box real quick. The chat box. Let me hold Control C to copy. By the way, copy, or and then or you can also hold Alt, but let's say Control press Control C and then Control V. It'll copy paste it. But another way you can do it is. You hold Alt, you hold Alt on your keyboard, and you drag this. That's a quicker way if to copy it. Now I'll just drag this little box into my sub box group. Let's call it um, the Now Playing Box, because <coughs> in some overlays you will see they have a Now Playing Box where it shows a current song playing. So let's say you want to add that. So we will. We're gonna make it a bit long, just uh, so it can show a good a good portion of the map beat map title let's just consider that a little bit there we go i'll just make sure this uh, spacing is good we can always change the, the spacing later on and everything else now i'll just press alt again let's have three boxes let's say we want the latest follower latest donator latest donor or and it now playing box okay let me just make it about half half of the now playing box Okay, let's try to copy this. Alt again, holding Alt on my keyboard. Alright, there you go. Now let me try to fix this spacing a little bit. Because I kind of want it to look just a bit better in terms of the spacing. Let's move this down, maybe increase the, um, the, the width. Hmm. Let me look at that. Okay, I think it looks just fine, maybe. Maybe could be a bit, a bit improved, but this is fine. Now, let's just spice it up a bit more. Just a little bit better. Improve it by adding logos. Yep, right here. Okay. Now, these logos and icons, the ones up here, come from uh, a website called The Noun Project, which I highly recommend if you want to look for... Um, logos over here the noun project.com i'll leave it in the description so you can have things you can search for things like um person and if you search person it's gonna come up with um good icons for that it's a bit slow but 
here, for example, right there. Logos for person. Okay, that's nice. Okay, but I already have ones prepared over here, so let's just drag them in. This one for the follower. This one for the now playing box. And this dollar icon for the donor. I think all of these are pretty um, good representatives for uh, what these boxes will be used for. So let's just make them a lot smaller. Fit the box. I press control to select more than one layer. And now I drag it. Okay. Now I'll just change the size a bit, just individually. There you go. Making sure they're all this, a similar size. Okay. Okay, now I'll just right click, go to blending options. And now I'll just change the color overlay. Make it white, yep, it's already white. Blend mode normal, opacity 100%. Okay, that's great. Hit OK. Let me just right click it. Copy layer style. Right click the other layers, the other logo icons. And hit paste layer style because I would also like them to be white. Okay. Let's make it a bit smaller here. Okay. Now we're gonna see a little, those little white things which are basically um, well, if you go back and increase the size, created by Zion, yeah, that, let's, let's remove that, but don't worry, the, the Noun project is a great site, allows you to use these, um, icons for, for free, so that's, that's wonderful. So we can remove them, hit the mask, go to rectangle tool, and alt spec space, let's remove that. Okay, let me just do the same thing for these ones as well. Oh, oops, didn't add the mask. My bad. Oop. Okay, nice. Now we have these, I'll just place them in the proper boxes. Let's put that there. Let's put this down here. Maybe a bit smaller. Okay. Just changing the spacing a little bit. Mm. Okay. This looks just about fine. I believe, yeah, okay. Now we have this done. I'm gonna go press control so I can select multiple of them. Just left click and drag them to sub boxes so we can have them organized. Now I'll just close these folders. I do not need to access them anymore. Okay, very nice. Now I'll press control S just to save this uh, here and I'll call it overlay, enter, okay. Okay, now we have that, wonderful. Let's go to name, let's create uh, a little type. A little a typeface, yes. No, we're not gonna create a, create a typeface, but rather just a text. Okay, now we just add your name. I'll just put name over here. Road Rage, no, I will not use Road Rage font, not at all, especially for this kind of um, overlay. Let's just use, um, I don't know, Adam and I'll make it white. Okay, wonderful. Now I'll just make it a bit smaller. Nope, not that small. Let's just uh, play around with this a little bit. Oh, okay. Kind of getting there. A bit more here. Pressing control. Pressing control while moving it so I, I have complete, completely free, free movement. Kind of. Okay, there you go. This looks just about fine. Just looks, looks, yeah, fine. Now I'll just move this a bit more to the left. Maybe try to center it between the name and the uh, webcam box. But you can 
do the spacing however however you want it to be. All right, nice. Okay, well, there's every a lot of this is really just preference on how you want it to look. You don't you don't have to add these kind of boxes. Maybe you don't want the now playing box. Maybe you don't want the donator box. Maybe you don't want a separate chat box. Maybe you want it inside over here or something. I just want to show you the tools and how you do certain things, how to make these backgrounds transparent. Um, just just give you a little general idea on how things are, well, generally done and a lot of overlays. I don't know. A lot of you asked for this, so here, here it is. And if you want to add your social media over here, which you totally can, let's just say you want to add uh, your Discord. Or actually, I think Twitter. Twitter is a much better example. Okay. Let's see. You ju you basically do this with same as same as everything else. Right click blending options. You can mess around with it. Maybe you just want a stroke. Maybe you just want a stroke for it, or maybe you want it uh, filled in, which also works. Or you could also add a drop shadow, which um, sometimes looks nice. But we're just gonna be we're just gonna be really basic here. Nothing. Nothing special. But you know, s simple, simple is good as long as it's unique. No, this isn't really unique, but <laughs> well, it's clean. It's it's still clean. Alright. Actually, no, not add Twitter. Let's just put add name. Just uh, have it go, go consistent with the uh, bottom left text. Okay, makes it a lot smaller. Mm-hmm. Maybe a bit smaller. Okay. Perhaps we can just add this over here. I'll just put it in a little group. And call it socials. You would probably add one or two more socials up here but uh just a little just a little example okay here we are now we're we're already kind of done i mean we kind of covered a lot of things already a lot of basic things at least so here we are and maybe it looks too simple maybe it's too simple you want to add something to the background like here in matthew's overlay where I added a little glow to the background, some some shapes over here, very subtle. You might not notice it until I point it out. A little square over here, a little gr little gr glow. No, that, that's let's say that's a bonus. Okay, I'll just sh quickly show you on how to do that. I'll quickly make a layer over here by clicking this. I'll right click it and click on create clipping mask. What cr clipping mask does? Basically, it. If I use my brush tool, let's um, put a little white or a very bright, bright color. Okay, I'll click on this. Make my heart oh, it's already ten percent. I can press Alt and right click, drag left or right to make it a little bigger or smaller. That's quite useful. I hope you guys know that. And you can see that it does not bleed to the transparent part. That's because the clipping mask will only make it appear, to, uh, make it only appear where the layer, where the clipping mask is applied to. It, it, well, it's hard to explain, but I think you will you will see what what it does. Hopefully, I'm not I'm not great at explaining. I'm sorry, but anyhow, I'm gonna set the blending style to let's say oh no. A lot wrong layer, my bad. Here, to soft light. Okay. Now let's press Alt, right click, make it big. Let's add a little, add a little glow. Mhm. Mm Just adding a little glow. Okay, here we, are. here we are. I'll just rename this to glow or highlights. Now you can see it made made a, a little difference. 
maybe a little better or maybe you don't want it just do it your choice now i think we're kind of done right i think we've covered basically every basic thing on how to create it or design an overlay i'll probably cover other things such as composition spacing when it comes to the different concepts that you could see in overlays perhaps in other videos but yeah here it's just a really general general tutorial on how to make overlays hopefully this was helpful if you do not understand anything at all or you missed you don't you missed something you don't understand something make sure to rewind the video try to uh, try to um grasp what i'm doing <laughs> i'm sorry if i wasn't great at explaining but anyways thank you for watching and i hope you have a good day